and welcome to the last video of this section. We're going to work on a more complicated setup than pure HTML. HTML is not bad for just getting started uh, just to see the syntax of React uh, without very much pain, but in the long run we're going to have to set up a real server. Uh, we're going to have to make more complicated projects than fit into one file, and ultimately if you're ever going to work on anybody else's React projects, you really need to get used to working with a server. So we're going to download um, a great little package from GitHub that's uh, called Create React App, and it's put out directly by Facebook and maintained. So you know it's uh, quite reputable. We're going to use NPM to do that. Uh, if you have another tool and you're more familiar and you'd like to use that, feel free. Uh, it doesn't really matter what tool you use to set up uh, this initial React uh, file structure, but Create, create React App takes care of a lot of basic problems. Uh, and we'll get to use GitHub a little in the process. And don't worry if this is a little bit overwhelming if you've never used um, console a great deal before. Uh, you should have used it maybe a couple times uh, for this course, but in any case we will figure it out together. So let's head out of this and let's go download uh, Create React App. So first we'll uh, just search it here. Okay, and there it is, Facebook Incubator, Create React App. Um, so right here is a quick overview. You can read more if you want, but just copy this, go to your terminal. I've already typed it in here. Let's. Um, so there we go, just going to install it. All right, so there we have, re we have installed Create React App, and now... I'm already in the folder I want to be in, but if you need to go to the folder, just a CD to it. Um, and create React app, and I will call this React.js. So, oh, can't contain capital letters, so there you go. Let's just call it React.js. Alright, this is pretty quick. Uh, once we're set up, we have a whole whack of stuff. A whole whack of fun for us to go through. In the meantime, while this is installing, why don't we just look a little bit at some of the documentation here on the Create React App page. Um, we've seen the installation, we're installing it. So you'll be able to use it from now on, um, on your machine to create new React projects just the way we did there. Create-React-App, space, name of your project. Without capitals, apparently. <laughs> um, now we have even our instructions on, uh, you create it, then you are going to CD into it. And then it's just a simple npm start to start the server, which is great because a lot of these type of packages, um, you, you often run into problems uh, the first time through. And we also have build process that we're going to talk about this a little later. But for now, all we'll really need is npm start. Great, so our React app has now um, installed here, and we have the instructions right here cd react js and then we'll go with yarn start just because i have yarn installed but it's just another package so you could easily put npm start you know i'm just going to do that and there we go it's running and it will just pop open a browser window if it doesn't then just go to localhost 3000 um, and it'll just populate with the default uh, interface that they have set up in create react app and here it is, create React, blah, 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 welcome to React, and a little nice rotating thing. So let's go look at the code base for this. Okay, so I'm in my folder, I'm using Atom, uh, use whatever code editor you prefer, and there we are. Now we're going to go into the source folder, this is the first, and here we have a set of files. There's some CSS, there's some testing files, more JavaScript. We're not going to get into testing much, so if you want you can go ahead and just delete that. Um, I will, just to clean it up. And uh, we'll go into app.js, and this is our React. So we're going to get much more deeply into this, and we're going to talk also about how this is structured, how you're going to create subfolders. That's all going to come along in later episodes, but for now, congratulations, you set up an actual server running React, and uh, we're going to be able to make changes and have some fun in this. See you on the other side.